5 million heartbeats a year is what Evan Melcher, a 48-year-old financial advisor outside of Atlanta, Georgia, saved because he stopped drinking alcohol. His resting heart rate dropped and he saved 5 million heartbeats a year. And you will save something similar in terms of heartbeats a year when you also stop drinking. I am James Swanick. I'm going to show you how we helped Evan to stop drinking and just completely transform his health, including saving his drowning three-year-old son. More on that in a second. I'll let Evan share that story with you. But Evan was on prescription drugs for years, anti-anxiety medication, acid reflux medication. I'm gonna show you, or he's gonna share with you how he got off prescription medication and he's 20 pounds lighter and he's just loving life. He's gonna share with you what his drinking was like and now he's alcohol free, how his life has changed. So let me know, I have Evan Melcher um, explain a little bit more about him. He is, um, you know, just a wonderful guy, but was in a bad state when he was drinking. And uh, I mentioned about saving his uh, three-year-old son from drowning. Let me have him share the story with you. We had an incident where my youngest son, Ezra, was he had just turned three and he actually drowned in a pool uh, at a neighbor's house. And we were, we were there, my wife and I were there. Um, another couple was there and um, thankfully we got him out and had to perform CPR. And after a couple of minutes, got him back and he did spend time in the hospital recovering from that and thank god he's totally fine he's he just turned five and he just started kindergarten he's great you know but i think back upon that incident and it was definitely the exception that we were not drinking that day typically mm -hmm. we we would you know go and have a couple beers and and hang out and you know thankfully for whatever reason i decided mm -hmm. not to drink that day mm -hmm. and was able to perform CPR and, and get him back. But, you know, you think back to those incidents and you think, oh my goodness, what would have happened? What could have happened <sighs> mm -hmm. if the adults there were impaired and couldn't, mm. you know, perform that miracle? So Incredible story. What danger are you putting yourself in with your drinking? What danger are you putting your loved ones in by your drinking? It might not be death, life and death, like it was with Evan, with his son. It was literally life and death. But is it your marriage? Are you putting your marriage under threat? Your relationship with your children, your job, your career, your business? How much money are you leaving on the table because you're operating at a three or a four out of 10 and not a seven, eight, nine out of 10 each day? It could be millions of dollars. Like literally your drinking could be costing you millions of dollars because you're irritable and you're stressed and you're, you're anxious and you're not putting in the best that you can do. And so maybe your business is in danger, your marriage is in danger, your relationship with your children is in danger, your life is in danger because of all these health complications because of your drinking. Drinking. And I know this sounds like tough love because I'm screaming down the the, uh, the screen here at you, but like it's time to wake up. And if you're in pain because of your drinking and you've tried to stop or you've successfully stopped, but you're on that stop start cycle, it's time to try something different. So I really want to show you how we helped Evan or have Evan share with you how we helped him. All right, so 2020, your, your drinking probably increased during the pandemic, right, as it did for many people. And, uh, you know, here's what Evan said about it. 2020 was tough, right? Everybody had the pandemic and everybody mm -hmm. faced that. Um, and it obviously impacted different people in different ways. So I would consider that to be one of kind of the whammies that hit us as a family. Mm -hmm. Joining Project 90 was a great way for me to you know, be 100% focused. You know, it was also coming at a time where we were coming out of the pandemic. And um, I think uh, along with a lot of other people, you know, maybe one glass of wine a night turned into two and, you know, one extra pound here or there turned into 20. And <laughs> so, you know, the desire to just, you know, be healthier, um, mm -hmm. I think also felt really good for me. So uh, Evan was addicted to medication. And uh, let me just have him share a little bit more about that. Yeah, over a decade of anti-anxiety medication, acid reflux prescription medication, I was doing frequent um, endoscopies to make sure, you know, just to kind of check on how that acid was impacting my um, my stomach and my esophagus. And it was just, it was just not on a good trend. And being, you know, someone in their early to mid forties and being mm -hmm. on this medication, some of that medication becomes lifelong medication and, mm -hmm. and has other detrimental effects as well. Mm -hmm. 
And so I had tried over the years to stop um, the different medications and I would always kind of have these rebounds. It didn't really, which medication it was, I always had a rebound of some kind and wasn't able to kind of break that cycle. This is where Evan had a choice to make. He could have kept going with willpower, trying to do it, read a book, go to AA rehab, or he could try something different. And you probably feel like you have a choice to make as well. Like you can keep trying your ineffective strategy of white knuckling it, trying to do it on your own, or you can choose something different. Evan chose something different. Here he is telling you about it. I, I was able to wean myself off of the different medications as I went through the Project 90. And then at the end of Project 90, I went to my doctor and had a recheck. And so I'm really religious about my annual physical in January every year. Yeah. And every year I go back and get tested and I have to stay on the medications. And mm. so I went back for kind of a mid-year check after Project 90 and I had dropped off the medication. And the doctor was blown away. I mean just because my cholesterol fell to a level that was below where it was when I was on the statins. I was no longer taking my, I was no longer having to take my anti-anxiety medication and mm -hmm. felt more, you know, kind of balanced and even. Um, and then my acid reflux was gone. So my resting heart rate dropped by over 10 beats a minute. I mean, which is f over 5 million heartbeats a year. Yes. <laughs> which is incredible. Um, so my heart thanks me and thanks you <laughs> for leading me through the program. But, um, you know, I've gone from sleep scores that were average to mm -hmm. low to well above average or optimal. Um, so that's been incredible. And like I mentioned, some of the other metrics like cholesterol and things like that, that just have blown my physician away. I went to the doctor the other day. I went to the dermatologist, right? And you fill mm -hmm. out all the, you know, the, the little forms. And one of the things I used to feel so guilty about was going to the doctor and you fill out all those forms when you get there and it says, mm -hmm. how many alcoholic drinks do you consume a week? And, you know, you used to put two, four, whatever the numbers, <laughs> <Right. laughs> the number was, and you feel guilty about it, right? Because yes. you know, you're not telling the truth. Mm -hmm. And, um, but to put zero and to just, I, I, you almost wait for someone to question me, like to say, really zero, right? <laughs> Is it really I zero? That too. Isn't that great? <laughs> yeah, but it feels so good. Incredible health transformation there. I'm sure you would agree. Is your resting heart rate up? Is your cholesterol up? Are you carrying unwanted body fat? Are you not sleeping well? Are you irritable, stressed? If that is you, it doesn't have to be this way. Do something different than what you've been doing, just like Evan chose. And you know, it's a powerful thing to be in a group where you've got Yale and Harvard educated coaches and you have um, a, a like minded community of people who are supporting you. And, you know, the results when you do that are astounding and relationships in Evan's life also improved. Here's what he had to say about that. My relationship with my kids and my wife has never been better. I remember being in our program and having our calls and having I remember I won't say his name, but I remember one of our more senior members mm -hmm. saying, wow, if I could have gone back in time and stopped when I was in my 40s instead of in my 60s, yes, the difference that that could have made in the relationships that I had and the the example that I set for my for my kids mm -hmm. is mind blowing. And what a gift to be able to do that in your forties with young young kids at home. And I just that really stuck with me. Most of what this member said stuck with me, but uh, but yeah, that in particular stuck with me. And I just mm -hmm. think to myself, man, you know, I'm never going to get everything right, but this is one thing I feel like I'm on the right side of when it comes to raising my kids. You know, he was worried about what other people were going to think. Let's go to Evan, and I'll let him share with you how he felt. The thing I was most nervous about when I when I joined Project 90. I remember in the first couple of weeks, I was so kind of, I felt ashamed. So I didn't want anybody to know that I was doing it. Mm -hmm, um, I remember. <laughs> and I remember thinking, okay, I need help preparing. We're going to a dinner date, you know, with, with friends and we always have good food and we have good wine. And so we're going to show up and I'm going to say, I'm doing this 90 day break. And how do I just say that I'm not drinking without mm -hmm. it seeming like I have a problem or I have an issue. Mm -hmm. And I felt so much, um, you know, shame around that and, and trepidation. And it's just totally flipped. Um, and I've gotten to a place where when I say that I'm not drinking or I'm good, I'm proud of it now. You know, I kind of want to yeah. sing it from the mountaintops without being kind of preachy, right? Like this of is course. for me and it's a decision that's that's right for me. But I, I do find myself a year ago, I felt that I was 
um, afraid to make that、mm. pronouncement. And now I feel very proud when I make that pronouncement if someone asks me. And so it's just it's just amazing how your whole mentality shifts when you、mm-hmm. when you realize that you know most people. Are drinking at the table at dinner or at that work event or whatever. If you're that one or two people that aren't drinking and you are a hundred percent present and cognizant and taking it all in and not、mm-hmm. numbing out, you know, I was looking for an accountability group when I wanted to do this, and so that's、mm-hmm. how I found Project Ninety. I was looking around and researching different groups, and that's one of the things that resonated with me about your program、mm-hmm. versus a lot of others. You know, a lot of others were focused on. Being an alcoholic, and、mm-hmm. how do you know that you're an alcoholic? And what do you right? And I did not feel like I was an alcoholic.、Um, my wife did not feel like I was an alcoholic. I was not in, you know, I didn't hit rock bottom. That's what resonated with me about this program.、Mm-hmm. It wasn't, you know, that I felt like I was an alcoholic. It was just、yeah. I felt like I wanted an accountability group that could help me, you、mm-hmm. know, go that ninety days, gain the tools and the skills that I felt like I needed, so that I could. You know, go to those events and do those social outings and those work outings without needing that drinking my in my hand or the the glass of red wine every single night. Yes. Um. And it's just through the program. I mean, my my eyes were opened up, and through additional reading and the videos、mm-hmm. that you guys have, it just allowed me to kind of see that this was a lifestyle that I wanted to stick with. Right. And I liked my lifestyle better when I when alcohol wasn't. In it anymore? Yes. Let me share a few more success stories. So here are a few success stories. I'm just going to go and show you this gentleman here, Steve Wilk, 58 year old from Akron, Ohio, financial services manager. He said that、uh, he went through the process and he feels 10 to 20 years younger. He sleeps better, clearer skin, lost weight, doesn't skip workouts, improves his better tennis player, improved marriage. That's incredible. Look at the physical transformation in Steve. This is Roseanne Forte. She's a retiree. She lost 20. 21 pounds and her blood pressure dropped 20 pounds. Look at the difference there. You can see it. Look, this is before, this is after. So, if weight loss is your goal, amongst other things, the, these are you know stories that you can see. Now, this is Evan. Like this is Evan who you just saw. Look at the before and after photo there. Look how he's puffy there and he's not so puffy there. This is Jessica Gaines Jabo who got better real estate clients. Her hair improved. Her complexion changed.、Um, she texted me. She says, "James, you are awesome and amazing." Thank you for being、um, my vehicle for making a commitment to be alcohol free. Life is magical and awesome, and it's all been here the whole time. You just popped into my head, and I wanted to say thank you. Hope you're having a wonderful day.、Um, this is Steve Aguiar from the city of Livermore in California. He is now three years alcohol free, but he wrote this LinkedIn article: two and a half years without alcohol, he lost sixty three pounds, improved his marriage, grew a pumpkin patch, and now he's retiring. And check out this before and after. Look at him here. Damn. Big boy here, not as big. Sixty-three pounds he lost. Isn't that incredible?、Um, here's what Steve texted me, James. Before I joined P90, I was nearly two hundred and sixty pounds, unhealthy and unhappy. Today I'm two hundred and five pounds, healthier, happier, and good for a hundred miles on the bike in a day. I just wanted to share my gratitude for you and my Project Nani family for helping me find my way back to the better version of myself. Love you all. Incredible. Here's Angela Ponsford.、Um, She's the、uh, mother of two、uh, of twin daughters. She said,、uh, "This is when she posted she was on 150 days alcohol free. Never would I have imagined I'd get this far when I first signed up."、Um, she's incredible. Here's John. Look at the before and after of John. Wow, big puffy face, not so puffy. He had to get slightly smaller glasses because、um, his glasses looked too big on him compared、um, uh, when we were looking at it from his previous uh, uh, previous weight. Here's Karen. I certainly wasn't a skeptic when I joined the program, but I couldn't fathom how life-changing it would be. My brain has been officially rewired, and alcohol now sits on a shelf with other poisons that could potentially kill me.、Um, this is Heather Kazakoff. She did the 90 day challenge,、uh, 90 days、um, program with us. I'm sorry. While you can try to do it on your own, this program allows you to connect with a supportive community through daily and weekly connections, access a structured curriculum with tons of resources, and you don't have to go it alone. Joining and completing this program was the best gift I could have ever given myself and to those around me. My physical and mental health have improved significantly, significantly, and my sleep is now glorious. 
This program helps to rewire the brain and the societal conditioning that we have been born into around alcohol. I'm so grateful for James, the coaches in the program. I could never have imagined feeling so good. I love that kind of stuff. Um, so I'll also share another thing with you in, in just a second, but uh, I'll let Evan just share again here. Oh, actually, what I should show you is um, uh, a LinkedIn article that Evan actually wrote about his time. And I'll show you, Evan wrote a LinkedIn article, which has been viewed hundreds of times. Let me just share my screen. Here's Evan, 365 days off alcohol, how my life changed and what I learned. And you can see here, he mentioned mentions Project 90, mentions me, mentions Victoria English. And uh, let's have a look down. 578 likes and shares and 113 comments. And all these people saying inspiring, amazing. And these are all business owners, executives, all the type of people who are um, our clients. And then I think somewhere I have a photo of uh, when I met up with Evan recently in London, sharing the screen. This is not a super fancy production. I, I appreciate that, but let me have a look here. So here's Evan, and this is Christian, another client. I was in London recently. Evan flew over to go and watch um, the Atlanta Falcons play an NFL game at Wembley Stadium. He's an Atlanta guy, and Christian um, was one of our clients from 2020, I think. And we all we had a beautiful alcohol-free dinner. See, there's no wine there so that's um evan i think we've got does evan want to say something else before we go let's have a look um yeah let's let, let evan finish up here he, he was talking about how it's been better for, for his clients and community he, he continues to invest in himself it helps me be better which mm -hmm. is obviously helping my clients it's helping my community it's helping my company and if there's five or ten people that also hear that message that get better it, it'll just make you know, all of us better. Continuing to invest in in myself, um, so I think obviously that's important. Just trying to live a life that I'm that I'm proud of. You know, I just don't want to get to the end of this life that I'm living and look back and and have regrets. And so, just trying to kind of maximize life, live it to its fullest, um, help where I can, be an engaged and present dad. Um, be a good husband. Thank you for your coaching and for you and James and others, all the other coaches that, you know, started this program and continue to to offer it and make the world a better place. It's mm -hmm. It's been really incredible. You guys run an amazing community. And the fact that we're all able to stay in touch kind of post the 90 day program is, yeah. is also really inspiring. It's a real deal. It's, <laughs> it's awesome. So thank you.